what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so production began a few days ago on jordan peele's upcoming remake or reboot slash spiritual sequel to um, the 1992 classic horror film Candyman. now i want to kind of get into some details regarding the plot what i think the movie is going to do uh give some casting information so j let's just jump right on into it uh i think f first words started coming out about this project in late 2017 or early 2018 uh right around the time when jordan peele was about to start promotions for uh us which came out earlier this year but he is attached on as one of the co-writers he's also producing it through his monkey paw production company which produced his two well-received horror films get out and us the cast for the upcoming Candyman film includes yaha abdul mateen uh tiani paris tony todd and uh two other stewart stewart jarrett i believe also recently just joined the film and one other person joined in as well uh i know when rosenfold or when rosenfield who is also attached to the monkey Park production company that peel is a part of he is also co-writing the script along with peel this is kind of right in his ball game uh speaking about jordan peel this is right up his alley because he's released two films that don't really deal heavily with race as opposed to, i would say get out dealt more with the race than us uh, but he's released two movies that are very controversial and they talk about they're basically two social commentary films uh thrillers of sorts horror thrillers um i believe that what we are going to get here is a loosely attached continuation to uh the 1992 film because some of the char we, character information came out about the film uh months ago and Lakeith Stanfield, or I, I hope I'm not saying his name wrong, Lakeith Stanfield, who was one of the cast members for Get Out, he was the person that got abducted in the very beginning of the film, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie, I apologize, um, but he was one of the first, he was the first person that got abducted, and we found out that he was joining the film, and a lot of people were speculating because his character name was Anthony, now, to get into some details about the original film, the original Candyman from 1992 starred Tony Todd as the titular villain, and Virginia Lyle, I think that's her name, uh, basically it's centered on a graduate student, two graduate students, specifically Virginia Lyle's character, uh, Helen, they were studying urban legends and trying to do a thesis for their graduate paper, and that's when they came, that's when they learned about the uh, legend of Candyman, decide to do their paper on that, and his his uh ties to the cabrini green apartment complexes or something of that effect in the chicago area and they come to find out how real this entity actually is and they learn his back story uh candy man was a he was the son of a slave i believe son of a slave who was a very successful artist but he was attacked by a mob when he fell in love with a white woman which then led to him returning in the afterlife as this vengeful spirit hell-bent on revenge so in my honest opinion i feel that what is happening here getting back to lakeith lakeith is playing a character called anthony now at the end of the original film and in the original film there was a baby in it named anthony he was a young infant at the time uh and heather or helen helen the character that Candyman was after primarily she saved this baby from the grasp of Candyman towards the end of the film and i feel that now that's who lakeith stanfield is playing i feel like this is the same anthony all grown up he's developed some sort of interest in Candyman because the character description said he's a bit of an artist similar to how Candyman was an artist in his life uh i feel like that's where the connection to the original film is Link. I feel like that's the uh, going to be the thing that ties it into the original film. But then from there, it's going to do its own thing. But then, of course, this could just be a character name that's Anthony in reference to the movie, which featured a character of the same name. And this is supposed to be a reboot of sorts. But then they're saying it's a spiritual sequel. Um, getting into something else, the fact that they did mention uh, that 
another cast member who was casted in the film he was uh announced to be in the film he was recently a part of the recent film us he was the father at the beginning of the movie yaha abdul mateen he is playing a he we don't know what character he's playing but speculation started that he would be playing candy man but then that was qu quickly shot down by nia da costa who is on board to direct the film jordan peele isn't directing this project but i'm assuming he's going to be guiding her along the way because i i think she's a relatively new filmmaker uh new director of sorts but speculation began that yaha was replacing tony todd's character and reports came out she quickly shot that down so now we don't know exactly what is happening here so it could be possible that yaha is portraying a character that suffered the same fate or something similar to candy man and this might be a revamped spirit in the cabrini green area because they're also entire they're shooting the entire film that's coming out next year uh in june the film is set to come out in june the entire film is currently being shot in the chicago area i think it's being shot around that same cabrini green area and the character that yaha is playing is not the same candy man that tony todd portrayed and we have tony todd back in the mix so it's kind of a iffy situation we, we're not sure what's happening but we're still interested because what is going on is tony todd reprising his role uh what is yaha's character is it a character of sorts that's similar to candy man is he candy man's like right hand is he candy man's partner are they working together now like there's so many questions but with jordan peele involved i'm very confident that this will be a successful follow-up to a standout film from 1992 that has a bit of a cult following i'm not saying it's one of the best films ever uh but it does have a cult following and i think it's in, i think it's heavily underrated f due to the time period that it came out in but i'm really looking forward to it and what do you guys think about this what do you think the film is going to be about let me know down in the comment section below if you have any if you uh have any opinions on it let me know down down in the section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video